you back to health. We'll begin today in a seated position. You can sit cross-legged or with your feet out in front of you. If you find it uncomfortable sitting on the floor, try sitting on a rolled blanket or bolster instead. This will raise your hips and take the strain out of your low back. So take a minute now to get yourself situated. When you're ready, sitting up tall, reaching up through the top of your head to lengthen your spine, draw your shoulders back and relax them down. Closing your eyes and closing your mouth, begin breathing fully through your nose if you can, noticing your breath as it flows in and out. Relax your belly so as you inhale, you feel your belly rise and ribs expand. Exhaling, allowing everything to release. Focus in on your breath, making it slow and deep, letting go of any other thoughts, bringing your focus completely on the feel of your breath. Notice how your body feels and simply take note where you may feel any tension, such as in your neck or shoulders, breathing into those areas and allowing them to relax. One more full deep breath, completely filling, then emptying your lungs. Open your eyes, sitting up tall, Draw your shoulders back, dropping your chin to your chest, stretching your neck. Breathe here, allowing the muscles in the back of your neck and shoulders to stretch. Raising your head, drop your ear towards your shoulder, breathing into any tension in your neck. Inhaling, come back to center. Exhaling, drop your ear towards the other shoulder, breathing into the stretch. Back to center, then turn your head looking towards your armpit. Feel that great stretch along the back side of your neck. Inhaling back to center, exhaling looking toward your other armpit. You've got it. Come back to center, and if you're sitting cross-legged, switch the leg in front. Interlacing your fingers, press your palms up overhead. As you exhale, draw your hands behind your head, elbows out. Inhale, drop your hands back, opening through your chest. Exhale, clasping your hands in front of you, dropping your chin. Again, press your palms overhead, exhaling hands behind your head. Dropping your hands, open through your chest. Exhaling, clasping your hands in front of you. Last time, pressing up through your hands, dropping your hands behind your head, bending elbows out. Looking up, opening through your chest, Exhaling, clasping your hands in front, rounding your back. Terrific! Drop your hands and come on to all fours. Check that your wrists are under your shoulders, knees about hip width apart. Inhaling, sweep your right hand up. Exhaling, bringing your right arm between your left hand and knee, dropping your shoulder towards the floor. Keep your hips raised high, breathe into the twist in your upper back. Press down with your left hand to go more deeply into this twist. Full breath through your nose. Nice. Come back to all fours. Inhaling, sweep your left hand up. Exhale, thread the needle, bringing your left arm through the space between your other arm and knee. Hips raised high, breathing slowly and deeply in this position. Let yourself relax here and enjoy that stretch in your shoulders. Coming back to all fours, sit back on your heels, stretch your arms forward for extended child's pose. Deep breath into your back. If you want to feel more stretch in your upper back and neck, slightly tuck your chin to your chest as you reach your arms forward, stretching through your fingers. Inhaling, feel your upper back stretch. Exhaling, letting it release. Excellent. Raising your hips, walk your hands forward. Keeping your hips raised, drop your chest and forehead towards the floor. This is a wonderful position to open your chest and stretch your shoulders. <laughs> okay, so it may look a little funny, but it also feels great. Lifting your head, sit back on your heels, bringing your hands behind you. Inhaling, press up through your chest. Exhaling, dropping your head back, if that's comfortable. Shoulder blades squeeze together to open through your chest. Deep breath through your nose, bringing the circulation to your heart and lungs. Fantastic! Coming forward, drop your chest towards your thighs, keeping your head lifted. Turn your hands towards each other. 
Push yourself forward, keeping your chest as low to the ground as you can, pressing all the way through, then back to child's pose. Keep moving back and forth, keeping your chest low to the ground, then pressing back to child's pose. Okay, this is another strange looking exercise, but it's a great way to stretch your shoulders and chest and relieve tension there. Back to all fours, spread your fingers wide, curl your toes under, and press your hips up and back, coming into down dog. Your hands are about shoulder width apart and feet about hip width apart. Pump your heels and shake your head from side to side, letting your neck get loose. Move your hips from side to side. Press your chest towards your feet, allowing your chest and shoulders to open. Walking your feet forward, bring your feet parallel and about hip width apart and fold forward, holding on to opposite elbows or with your hands on the floor. Your knees are bent to take any strain out of your back. Dropping your head, look toward your knees and shake your head from side to side, relaxing your neck and shoulders. Bending your knees more, lift your head and chest, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhaling, bringing your hands to your heart. Bringing your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back, expanding your chest. Lift your hands away from your tailbone as you drop your shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath here. You can stay here squeezing your shoulder blades together or bend your knees pressing your tailbone back and folding forward, lifting your hands away from your tailbone. Shake your head letting your neck relax. When I'm in this position, which strangely enough I quite often am, I like to inhale through my nose Then exhale through my mouth. I find it really helps relieve tension in my neck and shoulders. So give it a try. See how it works for you. Dropping your hands back to your tailbone, bend your knees and use the strength of your legs to come back to standing. Turn to the center, placing your feet a little wider than hip width apart. Holding on to opposite elbows, lift your arms to shoulder height. Pull your elbows to the left, back to center, then to the right, moving back and forth, standing up tall, allowing your shoulders to stretch. Coming back to center, release your elbows, keeping your arms at shoulder height. Begin twisting your arms from side to side, keeping your lower body steady and facing forward, bringing the twist into your upper back. Terrific! Dropping your arms down at your sides, reach your arms up, then press them back and down, creating circles with your arms. Move with your breath, inhaling as you reach up, exhaling down. This works your shoulder joints and relieves tension from the muscles in your upper back and chest, and it just feels good. Then begin moving your arms in the opposite direction, bringing your hands back and up and pressing them forward and down moving your arms in a smooth motion, stretching through your shoulders. Hands back to your sides, step your feet out further, bringing your legs into a straddle position. Toes point forward to engage the muscles in the front of your thighs. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhaling, expand your chest, raising your hands away from your tailbone. Exhale, pressing your tailbone back and folding forward. Raising your hands away from your tailbone as much as you can, breathing deeply, allowing your neck and shoulders to fully relax. Dropping your hands back to your tailbone, lower your hands to the floor in front of you. Look up to lengthen your spine, pressing back through your tailbone. Place your right hand in the middle. Inhaling, sweep your left hand up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, sweep your right hand up and lower it down. Move back and forth, feeling that great twist waking up your spine, really lengthening through your arms and back. Excellent! Coming back to center, walk your hands toward your foot.
Spread your fingers wide and step back, pressing your hips up and back to down dog. Check that your hands are about shoulder width apart and feet about hip width apart. Shake your head to loosen your neck and press your chest towards your feet to open through your shoulders and chest. Breathing into your back, feeling that stretch in your back and getting your energy moving. Dropping your knees to the floor, sit back on your heels. If that's not comfortable, you can sit cross-legged or with your feet out in front of you. With your hands behind you, interlace your fingers behind your back. Shoulders roll back, lifting your hands away from your tailbone. You can stay here, or as you exhale, slowly lower your forehead towards the floor, lifting your hands further away from your tailbone, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe slowly, relaxing the muscles in your face. If you're folded forward, let that pressure on your forehead help you relax. Coming back up, bring your hands behind you with your fingers pointing back or forward, whichever is best for you. Inhaling, lift up through your chest. Exhaling, lift your hips and drop your head back. If it's not comfortable for you to drop your head back, Keep looking forward, but keep lifting up through your chest. Deep breath through your nose, completely filling your lungs with air. Opening through your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Lowering your hips back down, roll your shoulders forward, then come all the way onto your belly. Hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers and placing your thumbs on your tailbone. Drop your forehead to the mat. Inhaling, lift your head and chest. Exhaling, pressing your hands towards your feet. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening your chest. Your shoulders press away from your ears to lengthen your neck. Breathe comfortably here, or as comfortably as you can in this position. On your next exhale, slowly come back down. Bring your arms out to your sides with your palms down. Roll on to your right side, keeping your right arm straight out behind you and bringing your left hand near your chest. You can stay here, working into the twist, or bend your left knee, placing your left foot on the floor behind your right knee. This will bring you into the twist more, so be careful only going to the point that is comfortable for you. Breathe into this twist, letting your shoulders and upper back relax more. Extending your left leg back out, slowly roll back onto your belly. Place both hands out to your sides again, with your palms down. This time roll onto your left side, bringing your right hand next to your chest. You can stay here, pressing down with your right hand, or bend your right knee, placing your right foot on the floor behind you. Go slowly, only going to the point where you feel the stretch, but no strain. Your breathing remains smooth and deep, breathing through your nose. You've got it. Extending your right leg, slowly roll back onto your belly. Place your hands under your shoulders and press back to child's pose. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest to stretch your upper back more, breathing into your back, allowing it to stretch and relax. Sitting back up, bring your feet in front of you. Bring your hands behind you with your fingers pointing back or forward. Then pressing up through your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhaling, drop your head back if it's comfortable to do so. Deep breath through your nose, breathing into your chest, increasing the circulation to your heart and lungs as you work the muscles in your upper back. Rolling your shoulders forward, come back to sitting, bending your knees, Slowly roll down onto your back. Keep your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Place your hands next to your head with your palms up. As you exhale, lift your head and neck. Inhaling, lower back down. Continue carefully lifting your head as you exhale and lowering down as you inhale. Check in with your body 
and back off if you feel any strain in your neck. This is a fantastic way to strengthen the muscles in your neck. Lowering all the way back down, bring your arms to your sides. Turn your head from side to side, stretching your neck. Relax your shoulders and move your head slowly. Then back to center. You can stay where you are or to gently stretch your chest, take your rolled up blanket and place it just below your shoulder blades as you lie back on it. You can also place a small rolled towel under your neck for extra support. The main thing here is to get comfortable, letting your body relax more with each breath. So do what feels best for you, whether it's placing a blanket under your back or lying flat on the floor. When you're ready, draw your shoulder blades back slightly to open your chest a little more. Deep breath through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, allowing your body to release any tension. Feel the floor support the weight of your body as your breathing becomes soft and natural. Feel your shoulders relax and your chest open. Feel your belly become soft. With each breath, allow yourself to become more still and calm, going more deeply inside. Find that quiet place within you where you can completely relax. You can stay here as long as you like, whether it's 5, 10, 20 minutes or more, whatever feels right for you, allowing your neck and shoulders to relax more deeply. When you're ready to get up, simply roll onto your side, remove your blanket, and come back to sitting. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.